guys. So today is another coffee date Thursday. Can you believe it? And let's see, it is the 17th when you're watching this. Can you believe it is St. Patrick's Day? Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. And today's video topic is something that uh, you never thought you would live through. And honestly, for me, it's my mom's death. I never thought I was going to handle my mom's death. My mom's death came very suddenly to us last year. Um, if you've been around to my, if you've been around my channel for a while, you guys know this story. But if you are new, um, my mom in 2014 was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer, and about the end of May last year, she went into the hospital to be treated for dehydration and pneumonia, and they found out things were not getting better, so she chose to enter hospice care. She was in hospice care for about two weeks, and then she passed away. And that is something that it's been nine months now and at first I was at first I was really relieved and I was really happy because I knew she was in a better place but now it is very hard you know I come across the little things like a piece of paper that she's written on or a picture or a memory and it's like she's dying all over again. I feel the hurt and the pain and it's hard. There are some days that it's harder than others. And if you are someone that is watching this and you've recently lost a family member, um, or even if it hasn't been recent, you know, whether it's been months, whether it's been years, however long it's been, I understand what you're going through. I know how hard it is to just randomly be like driving down the street and the next thing you know you're breaking out in tears because you know you saw the sign for exit 36 and you remember how you used to get off on exit 36 and you'd go to this little diner down the street you know for breakfast every Saturday or whatever the memory is and Cancer has definitely played a big, nasty-ass role in my life. My mom, before she was diagnosed with the lung cancer, was diagnosed with breast cancer. And she went in to have a lumpectomy done, and they pulled us into a little room and said they were going to have to do a mastectomy again. She only had one breast removed, but in going through that, they tried to insert an implant and she got an infection. They had to pull that out. They tried another surgery. She got another infection. And it was a whole long series of along with that. And then in 2012, I found a large um, lump down near my collarbone. And I went and I asked my mom after a shower and I said, Mom, what is this? And she goes, oh, pff, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. So I went upstairs and I got dressed and I, you know, I just totally forgot about it. And then two weeks later at a family, um, it was summertime, two weeks later at a family party, I was sitting talking with one of my aunts and my mom looks at my neck and she goes, you need to call the doctor. That lump is still there. And I go, okay, but you, you told me it was nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, my mom goes, I just thought it was a swollen lymph node. By now, it should be gone. So I went and I ended up having a biopsy done, which is when I was diagnosed with stage two Hodgkin's lymphoma. I had the lymph node here that was removed and I had a tumor behind my heart. And I went through chemo and then I went through radiation. I finished chemo February 6, uh, 2013. I finished radiation in April of 2016. And two weeks after I finished radiation is actually when I ended up conceiving Lucas. So Stephen and I are very fortunate in that uh, me having PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, 
cancer and the chemo made me lose enough weight to reset my periods where we were able to conceive a child. And as stressful as it is, I'm very happy we had Lucas when we did because it gave my mom, a, you know, it gave my mom a year in his life and a chance to see her baby have a baby and grow up. And so I would say throughout all of this, the one thing that I never thought I would live through is cancer, be it my mom's cancer, my own cancer. And, you know, it's something that I'm living with every day. And I truly, truly, truly hope that in this world we can find something that beats cancer and kicks it in the ass once and for all and ends the horridness of what this disease is doing to people and to their families. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. Happy St. Patrick's Day if you celebrate. If you do not, happy Thursday and I will see you in the next one. Bye.